which frees our mind of all emotional shackles and temptations and guides us towards enlightenment and peace. Himali Spiritual Center is the gateway to liberation from pain, misery and suffering. Here, through religion, meditation, yoga, worship and gem therapy, all troubles are treated. Himali Spiritual Center, 718-887-2. Namaste and Happy New Year. Kaise hain sab? All good. So from me, Sherry and my mentor, Himali ji, humari dono ki taraf se, aap sab ko naye saal ki bohat bohat mubarak ko. Himali ji. Thank you. Namaste. I would wish everyone a very, very happy new year. और मैं माँ से भगवान से प्रार्थना करती हूँ कि इस साल आपके लिए अच्छा और बढ़िया जाए थैंक यू हिमाली जी एज वी ऑल आर वेरी एक्साइटेड नो अबाउट आर मंथली कहूँगी हिमाली जी के एनुअल हॉरोस्कोप जिसकी हमने पिछले वीक अनाउंसमेंट की थी पिछले साल अनाउंसमेंट की थी वी मेर एन अनाउंसमेंट जनरली how is Aries people are and what is the prediction for them for, for those sleep. 12 signs yes okay so kya aap tayar hain friends this is live program on every thursday from 7 30 to 8 pm we bring himali ji in the studio for you you can ask one question based on your date of birth place of birth and your time of birth and also friends uh, uh, we have a request that on viewers request himali ji प्लीज लेट्स री स्टार्ट रीडिंग द हॉरोस्कोप क्योंकि लोग बहुत इंतजार करते थे कि हमें पता हो आइडिया हो पूरा महीना कैसा जाएगा एटलीस्ट वंस अ मंथ विल डू वंस अ मंथ विल स्टार्ट दिस ईयर विल डू फर्स्ट Thursday that comes in that month. Okay. Uh, I will do the horoscope for that. Perfect. So I'm ready for my uh, sign. क्या कहता है मेरा sign? Well, but... this is the greatest 2020. Okay. So it's four, number four. So a lot of people who's born on the fourth, who's born on the 31st, who's born on the uh, 13th, who's okay. born on the 22nd, they add up to four, like numerology. Right. We're talking about one to nine. So if, let's say you're born on the 4th of whichever month, you, you are number 4 and the Aquarius rules them. Then you add 31, that is also a 4, 3 and a 1. Okay. You add 22, that is 4, 2 and 2. You add 13, which is 4, 31, 4. So anyone's birthday who is on the 4th, who is on the 13th, who is on the 22nd, and who is on the 31st. This year is going to be really, really good for them, excellent for them. So if they are waiting to make any plans, it will be very good. If they uh, want to build a house, they want to expand, they want to do spiritualism, this is very good. They, they will do a lot of changing, good, positive in their life. Then we have January, which is, is a very uh, you know important month. We feel uh, it's Mercury Sakranti, which is on the 14th. Right. Otherwise, it's known as Lori. People do a lot of this. Hi, People on the north they celebrate yes. a lot, which means you know Surya Bhagwan Uttarayan Parij gaya hai, Makar Rashi mein gaya from the 14th. So the daylight, I think, it gets more warmer right, and yes. brighter. Yes. And we have also, you know, the very, very important is we say the Shadi. Shadi Sat Sati, Saturn moves from Scorpio on January 24th. It moves to uh, Aquarius. So anyone's moon, this is what I try to explain to them. The moon was in Scorpio. For the last seven years, they were going through Shadi Sat Sati, a lot of difficulties. Now Shadi leaves Scorpio. So now Shadi is going to be on Sagittarius is going to be on Capricorn and Aquarius. So these people are going to uh, have difficult time oh. with Shadi Sat Sati. And jo Libra hai, Tula Rashi mein, jiski mood hai, unka, unka daya aega. So if your mood is on Libra, you will have two and a half years before your next golden period. But if your mood was in Virgo, and your moon was in Scorpio. This is going to be a very, very good year for them, excellent for them. Whatever they were going through for the last seven years is going to be good. Also in January, what we have is on the 25th of January, we're going to start what we call Guput with Secret Navratri. You heard me say spiritual people do four Navratri. Right. So 25th is going to be the first Navratri. A lot of spiritually, a lot of people 
who knows how to read the panchayat, who knows the date, also fast on those days from the 25th for the next nine days till the 2nd of February. They will fast, they will do havan, they will do puja part, they will grow khetri again, they will put, put a kokarat in their house. So that is a very spiritual uh, seven days in that time too. Oh, that's so wonderful. Good. So there's a lot as we go step by step, uh, weekly as we come, we will remind you but uh, the most important, they should remember that those of you who are, were going through Shadi and now Shadi leaves you so you can get some relief and those who are coming into a Shadi, what you should do is you should be praying uh, to Hanumanji, we always say, mm -hmm. or if you cannot, of your religion, you cannot pray to Hanumanji, it's not a problem. What you do, you stay vegetarian Tuesdays and uh, Saturdays. And if you can light a mustard oil there, it will also help you. That's so wonderful because uh, fasting every day, people are really hesitant that, oh, we have to be hungry all day, but you gave us two days, Tuesday and Saturday. Saturday, stay vegetarian. Right. It's not, you don't have to stay hungry. Some people like to eat once after they do the pray, they will eat puja, they will do eat once. They could do that a whole day, they could just juice or liquid. Right. So Shadi will go into more details. We have been doing it uh, last all the time. I tell people, you know, this is a time that if you, uh, Shadi is not really bad. If it's a time that you did anything wrong, Shadi is like more justiceful. It does justice. Mm. So yeah. if you do good, you do donation, you pray, you meditate, you'll be harmless. That's right. This is why we say, ji, do your good karma so that when they come back to you, they come back in a good form. And it's not necessary like you do good to me, so you, I have to do good to you. Somebody else can do it to me. That's right. So, so I will read the horoscope. Yes. I will do the whole 12th month if we have time. So we'll try to go fast. And every month beginning, I will talk about the whole month for those people so that there is something different we try to bring for everybody. Perfect. Aries is, is, is a fire sign and they're ruled by the planet Mars and they are cardinal and the symbol is Ram. Cardinal means they will, they're very moody. If they feel like it's no and they need to change to yes, they will change to yes. So okay. they're very flexible people and they're very moody people and they're very independent people and they're very secretive people. They doesn't like to share a lot of stuff. They keep a lot of things inside of them, male and female. Indeed. But they don't, they very, they like in business, they could become their own. They like to work for themselves. So I've seen mostly if they work for themselves, businessman, businesswoman, they do very well. If they become physician, they also do really well. I know a lot of Aries, male and female physicians. And if they also go into spiritualism, like be a spiritual person, they also do very well. Okay. Thanks. For this year is a very good year for them. Whatever pending work they had for years that was pending from last year, this way they will change. Students will do extremely well. Health-wise, they will be good. If they're thinking of starting a new business, this is a good time for them. If they're thinking of buying a property, this is also a good time for them. They should wear color red, 9, 13, 22 is a lucky number for them. Great. Taurus is an earth sign. They rule the by Venus. They are fixed sign. So if they say yes, it's yes. If they say no, it's no. It's very hard for them to adjust. The, the symbol is the bull. So that's why they say they're hard-headed like the bull. They're very loving husbands, very loving of son, brother, sister. They're very loving. They love their family very much. Uh, Aries men, on the other hand, they're very good as a, f uh, a father, uh, as a son, as a brother, as a sister, but they're not a good husband. Okay. They always feel that they wife. So this one is other way around. The Taurus men are very romantic. And Taurus female and male, they have to fall in love to get married. They can't just marry anybody that if I fix or if their head say, oh, this is good person, they can't. They have to be with somebody that they married. The most difficult thing for them, it is change. If they could a little bit adjust with the things they do, it would be very good and beneficial for them. But for uh, 
Taurus, uh, this whole month is a very good month for them. The beginning of the month will be little trouble for them. Towards the ending of the month, a lot of difficulties will come to a solution. They will get some sad or bad news from a loved one or a family member that will make them sad. But their health will be good. Students will have little difficulties in study. So students, please cons uh, ask your guidance counselor, talk about it before you go ahead and change your subject or do any anything drastic because there is a little problem in your study and education there and you should wear a yellow sapphire will be good for you yellow is a good color 2 8 and 25 is a lucky number for you now Gemini Gemini's are air side and they are ruled by Mercury their uh, mutable side and the symbol is the uh, terrible twin well we call them the twins so Gemini's are very intelligent people. They catch things very quickly. If they see, they do it really well. Very intelligent people. And what they have, the biggest problem is to make a decision themselves. They have very difficult to make decision themselves if you leave it to them. They don't make decision too well quickly. And they're, as a child, you should keep them with good positive people. They'll go positive good. If you keep them with negative people, they tend to take observe a lot of negativeness of the behavior. So if you have any children or yourself you feel negative, stay with positive people, do positive things, you will feel happy and better again. They don't like to hurt anybody's feeling. They try to keep everybody happy. By doing that, they hurt themselves and they feel very sad and happy. But they're very good friends to keep, very good, uh, especially if you are stubborn, you're a very good friend to keep with you because Gemini tend to uh, adjust with you a lot. This is a very good month for them. Financially, they'll be good. Health-wise, they'll be good. If they're thinking of doing any of their own business, they should do it by themselves. They should not do it in partnership. It's not good for them. If they're thinking of doing anything uh, other than partnership, uh, uh, real estate or buying a business, they should do investment which will be good for them. Again, they should not do anything in partnership, they should do it themselves. If you are going into uh, a government job, this will be a very good year for them. Uh, Gemini's, this is a, extremely a good if you're in music and art too. Wednesdays are good days for you. Lucky colors are green or blue. Lucky number is 5, 10 and 21. Cancer. Cancer is the sign of water and they're ruled by moon and their cardinal sign and the, fix, uh, the symbol is the crab. So if you realize, Sheruji, Leos and Cancer are the only ones who doesn't share a planet, share a sign. Everybody else, they share. Exactly. I would like to um, mention it because my brother, he's um, Cancerian and I know uh, how secretive he can be because he, they don't have many friends, many social... Yes, they're very secretive circles, people. Yes. And they're very close people and they like to oh, do yes. things themselves. They're yes. very deep, deep, sensitive, yes. emotional people. Very family-oriented, like to stay they're home. Very, yes, they're yeah. very spiritual. Cancer women tend to be taking care of her home first. Mm. So her home, her family will matter more than outside people will come. Right. They're very close. They, they don't, you know, get into too much gossip. They don't get into too much That's problem. Right. They stay away. They usually go into computer fields. They usually go into uh, uh, electronic, electric things. Yes. They do very well. Yes. They're very much with the brain. They, but, uh, they get very shy quickly yeah. too. This month for them is a very, it's a little mixed month for them. Uh, beginning of the month, uh, it will be a little difficult. After that, things will get better. Financially, they'll get a little tight and then things will get better for them at the beginning of the month. Health-wise, they will do good. If they're thinking of taking a trip or a vacation, this is a good time for them to plan out. Mm -hmm. If they're thinking of doing uh, a family event, which is also a good time for them, uh, if there won't be much change in their job. If they're thinking of changing job, this is not a good time for them. Monday is a good day for them. Lucky colors for them is white and cream. A lucky days for numbers for them are 2, 11, 20, and 29. Okay. Leo. So everybody... Uh, comes to a, like a Leo, they feel like, oh, they get very, right, this is a hot-headed, but they're good people too. Leo is a fire sign. They're ruled by the sun and they are a fixed sign. 
the symbol is the lion. So they feel like the world should revolve around them. If they're, if you have a family or loved one or significant other is a Leo, it's they're very proudy people. So if you feel they said something, just say okay, then tell them no, it's not, and then they will change. Other way, they take a lot of time wasting on arguments and doing things. And they're very fixed. So they're very good loyal friend. If they say yes, they yes. If they say no, no. Because Surya, sun rules them. So they're very egoist people. They do very well in their own business. If they become the leader, they do very well. They like to lead. They don't like to be told what to do. They like to do their own job. So I find them very good businessmen, very good leaders in the world. They do very well in land related properties. They do really well in spiritualism. Um, they do really well in any field, they put their mind to it, they do very well. I have seen very good doctors, physicians who are Leos, they have, uh, they have their own business, plus they do something else, so they like to multitask, it's very difficult for them to do one thing, they do multitasking. They are very good friends to have, but if they say no, then they means no. This year for them, well this month especially as we're doing monthly, is a very good month for them. Whatever pending work they had, it also will delay. If they, they will plan out new business, if they especially in real estate, they will do extremely well after a long time. Whatever time they wasted last year, this year will be in positive. Health-wise, they'll be good. If they're planning to uh, do a vacation, this is a good time for them. They will also travel a lot this, uh, this month, I feel. They will be very good for them this year. Their, uh, their lucky colors, what they should wear is white. Uh, the lucky numbers are 1, 10 and 19 for them. Great. Virgo. Virgos are the earth sign. Their, uh, their planet that rules them is Mercury and they're mutable, means they can go. Uh, if you say if they want to change, they will change. If you, they don't, they won't. Uh, there are the uh, the uh, the sign for them is the uh, the the virgin is okay. the sign the female. Okay. They will like nice things. Usually, uh, uh, Virgos they will like nice clothes, nice house. Right. They were very self-respectable people. They like organized, neat, tidy. So they were very much focused because they're ruled by Mercury. They don't like too much uh, limelight, like flashy life. They like, they try to stay a little bit on the lame side, little quiet. They'll do very good office managers. They'll do very good in any field that they put their mind into it. This is a very good month for them. They will see that job-wise, career-wise will be very good for them. If they're planning to do anything, they're for they will go. If they are thinking of going into study or education, it will go. Students will do really well. If they're doing their own business, this is also a very good time for them. So whatever was delaying for them this year will be very good. And if it was very good, it will be even better for them this year. The lucky color they should wear is green, 4, 13, and 22 is the lucky dates. Libra. Libras are the air, their element is the air, they're ruled by Venus, and their sign is a cardinal, the symbol is the, uh, the scale. You know, the, the scale. The scale. Taraju. Taraju. So <laughs> it's very difficult yeah. for them to make up their mind. They're ruled by Venus, so they like nice clothes, nice living, very romantic they are. And they also have to be in love to be in their relationship. But what they feel like is very difficult for them is to make up their mind. The decision is very difficult. By the time they make up the decision, they either get into trouble or they get into some difficulties. This month, it will be very difficult for them in the beginning of the month. Financially, they'll be a little tight. If they're working in the government, they will have a lot of uh, good news and positiveness. If they're doing their own business, it could be delayed. They should try to pray and meditate more. Health-wise, they'll be good. Ladies will do a lot of traveling. So if you are a Libra woman and you're in business, you're doing a finance, you will do a lot of traveling this uh, month. Uh, white, blue is your lucky color. Number 9, 18, and 30 is the lucky numbers. Scorpio. Scorpio is a water sign ruled by Mars, and they are fixed signs. So they the qualities of his fixed, just like Leo's, they're very fixed, they're hard-headed. The symbol is the Scorpio. 
So they have good and bad. They're very, very good husband, very good wife, very good mother, father. So they are excellent with their family. They're very tight. And if they're your friend, they're your friend. If they're your enemies, then they're your enemies. Then they will get you really bad with the enemy uh, fight. If they're in the Scorpios, is one of the side that the Surya Bhagwan unfortunately is in a lower place. So they get a lot of discredit in life. They work very hard and the appreciation is little. So I always urge them to wear a ruby. Ruby stone will help them and they should change that ruby every three, four years because you get a ruby, it's not for life. For any stones that you wear, you should change it in every couple of years. Health-wise, this, this year is very good. This month is very good for them. But health-wise, they will have problem on and off, on and off. If they are looking for lo uh, like to get married, this is a very, very good year for them. If they tried to get into a career that delayed them for the last two years, this is a very good year for them. They will go into Korea. They usually do very good as a surgeon. So I've seen them. They usually go into spiritualism, which is very good. They usually go into a detective work, which is very good. Scorpios tend to love to have a career. They just can't do anything. They have to have a career and they become very good, but they don't get appreciated because of Surya Bhagwan is in Libra, so is in a lower place. If they wear a ruby stone, they do Gayatri Mantra, they fast on Thursday, uh, so Sundays is very good. If they wear red color, it's very good for them. This is a very good month for them. They will do a lot of positive things to change people. Financially, they will do really well. Red for 12, 31 is very good numbers, dates for them. Sagittarius is a fire sign. They're ruled by Jupiter. The quality is uh, mutable, so they also can go out of their side. The symbol is an arch. So they're very, uh, very uh, people. They ver like to do things very subtly. They do things very secretly, but they're ruled by Jupiter. So they tend to do their own business. They're very good at what they do, especially if they get into music, art, they'll do very good. If they go into doing their own business, they do very good too. They've, this month is very good for them. They will do very well with their business. If they think they thinking of do, uh, working for somebody, this is also a very good month for them. If they're thinking of changing their job, this is a good month for them. Health-wise, they'll be good. If they should wear yellow, sapphire is good for them. 3, 12, 21, and 30 is their uh, lucky days. Capricorn is the earth side. I'm trying to go fast so I can I cover everybody. <laughs> Your viewers Capricorn, are uh, waiting, uh, you know. Yes, so they're all waiting, everybody. So Capricorn is the earth side. They're ruled by Saturn and they're cardinal and the symbol is the goat. So they're very st uh, uh, stubborn people. They don't like to say too much. They keep a lot to themselves. They do things when they want. They're very, very good friends and they do very well in business and they tend to do things that um, if they do hotel, motel is very good for them. If they do restaurant is very good for them. They also do very well with their uh, any other professional, but mostly business they do very well. They, this month will be very good for them. They will do a lot of changing with families. They will uh, attend if they wait, haven't met any loss, you know, any families or relative been distanced, they will come very close for them. If they have any court case, this is very good month. Year, I will say is good. Everything will go into their own size. If they are, especially if they are children, they will do very well this month. It will be very good for them. They should wear blue color, eight, uh, 17, 26 is a lucky number for them. Aquarius, this, they are air side, they're symbol of Saturn also, and they're fixed people. And they're, they're, their symbol is the water. You will see the water there, very symbol of that is. And they're very stubborn. So if they say yes, yes, if they say no, no, and they like to be, they don't like to be told what to do. You cannot tell them. They're very much of a free people and they like to dream. So they will dream of a lot of stuff in their mind. They're very big dreamers, what they would like to do and what they will dream. They're very good friends. They're very much secretive people. They're very, husband and wife, they're very good to each other, but they like their own distance. So uh, Aquarius women don't like to be told. They like to be very much free. So does the men. So if they marry into a, a people which are uh, like 
who doesn't like to be told what to do and they're very free, independent, they will do very well. If they, they're not very needy people, so they need their space. So I have seen a lot of uh, Aquarius. They're very good as friends, but they're not very good as a husband or a wife because they don't like to be told what to do. This is a very good month for them. Job-wise, they will do very well. Uh, if they're thinking of traveling, religious places, this is very good. Students will do excellent. Health-wise, they'll be good. If they're thinking of buying properties, it is good for them. If they're thinking of doing business, it's not good. They should, if they want to do, they should do something themselves, not as a, a partnership. The color black, blue is good for them. Number four, th three, 22, 31 are very good months for them. So this year will be really good for Aquarius. Aquarius. Because uh, also in numerology, we say, you know, number four is for is Aquarius. So they will do very, very good. Uh, Pisces. Which is the last. Which is the last yeah. one, which is the water side ruled by Jupiter and the mutable side. And they are the two fishes you will see. They're the two fishes side. They're very good friends. They're very loyal. They're very much spiritual people. They become very good writers in life. They will write very well. They'll become very good professors in life. They do very good in their own business. This month is a very good month for them. They will uh, financially do very well. Business-wise, things will pick up after the 10th of this month. They will do really good. Relationship, they will do well. If they're thinking of uh, moving a state or job, which is a good uh, time for them. Students will do really well. Lucky uh, color for them will be yellow. The numbers will be 3, 12, and 30. Wow. All right, friends, that was the, um, I would say, monthly horoscope. Well, it was monthly, a little bit. At some places, I did certain, say, for, Summary of of for yearly. So it was mixed. But next month, I'll put them all monthly so it will be less yes. and not so much. But overall, everybody is a wonderful people. I, have, I deal with all different monthly people in my life. And everyone is unique and everybody is special in their own way. Himali ji, in short, um, what are the precautions for this year that everyone should be taking? I feel like try to get a, a read, like get a, everybody because Shani changes, so it's very difficult yes. to say who's is what. Try to get a, a personal one-to-one -one reading with an astrologer or your pundit or a spiritual person. Okay. Uh, get a read and see what's happening. If you're in a bad period, what you should do. If you're in a good period, what you should do. That's great. All right, friends. We have started our new year. I hope you like this horoscope reading and will continue with this. And we are sorry we couldn't take much calls today because uh, this was really important and you demanded for this, right? So, Himali ji, phir, um, we have Makar Sakranti, which is on 14th which for is this month. 14th, but you know, we also say Lori. Lori, as Lori has known as Lori, people will Hanji. celebrate on the 16th. Right. And uh, uh, Shani moves uh, from the, uh, st changes on January 24th. So that is also a big date. But I really pray people that astrology is very small, low. But spiritualism, bhakti, pray is very high. So even your astrologically, it shows is a bad time. But I believe if you pray to Bhagwan, to Ishwar, to Khuda, to Allah, with no doubt, all this negative can be all eliminated, like get re removed from the planet. <coughs> your whole horoscope can change. So I believe in the power of pray. I believe in the power of uh, mantras, duas, simran's part, because above all of this is God, That's Bhagwan. Right. And if you have a guru, I always urge people, please follow your guru if you're in a difficult time and listen to your guru because a lot of people love the idea of having a guru, but they don't listen to their guru. They don't listen to the spiritual person and they don't follow guidance. So I, this urge, I ask everyone this year, before, as the year is here, uh, you forget, you learn from your past, do not repeat your mistakes. And if you can sit with your, uh, with, a, with your guru, with your spiritual person, with your pandit, open up your horoscope, your book, and let 
know what's happening and what you should do. Use astrology as your guidance, but it's not your decision maker. I have said this many, many times. I have seen people astrologically will be so difficult, so bad, that I tell them to pray, do this, do donation, dan, punya. And I have seen things drastically change for the positive in their life. So I prefer everybody if they could do some donation to the needy people in this world. We have so much we have and we, we don't realize that we're not grateful for. So this year, try to put some little money for the people who really needs us the most. And also uh, what you can do to better your life, not only by, oh, I'll eat less, diet, exercise, but spiritually what you can do for your soul. So with that, I wish you a very, very happy weekend and I'll see you all next week which frees our mind of all emotional shackles and temptations and guides us towards enlightenment and peace. Himali Spiritual Center is the gateway to liberation from pain, misery and suffering. Here, through religion, meditation, yoga, worship and gem therapy, all troubles are treated. Himali Spiritual Center, 718-887-2.